Hi, my name is Jenna. I'm going to show you how to do an animated post or an animated GIF using Canva. So here's an example of what I created. This one has Forky coming in and out of this QR code. And I'm going to show you how to do this on Canva using the free tools. So I'm going to start by going to create a design and I will do an Instagram post just because I, I'm this in this case, I'm just trying to do it square. And you can start from a template if you want. But right now I'm just going to use elements that I already have. If you have your own elements, if you have your own photos, then the free version is really going to work for you. So I just came back from Disneyland with my girlfriend and I have pictures from that trip. We created shirts for ourselves. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag from my desktop to Canva this image in to this page. And then it's going to go into my uploads. You can see I've done this a few times. So... The other way to do it would be to upload a file and then select it from your computer, but then it's there. Now, I can scale this up and position it exactly as I want, but instead I want this to be my background image. So I'm going to right click it and then set as background image. If you don't like the position or need to do some adjustments, double click it and then you can resize it if you need to and then you can move it around. I'm going to leave a good amount of space in the corner so I can have text up here and then click out of it and then now it's set as my background image. The next element that I want is text. So I'm going to say, who is your spirit character? And then you can move this in by clicking and dragging the side and then move it kind of around to that place that you want. Now, white is not a good font for this, this background. So I'm going to think about the Toy Story font. And that Toy Story font kind of uses a yellow. If you want a more specific yellow, you can add it this way by putting in a hex code or dragging this little circle around, but I'm gonna keep it with this yellow. I know the font for Toy Story is, is this something close to Gil Sands, so I'm gonna use that. And since I changed fonts, I'm gonna have to readjust here. And then the other thing about the Toy Story font is that it has a blue outline. So I'm gonna click on effects. I'm gonna go to outline. I'm gonna change the color of this outline to a blue. And I think that outline is not thick enough. So I'm going to make this thicker. So that looks kind of similar to the Toy Story font. And now I'm going to go to my uploads because I added this QR code. I'm not going to tell you where this leads to. If you want to scan it, that's the surprise for you to where this goes to. And I'm going to click on elements and add a square. I want this square to be black because it's going to be behind this QR code. And I want it just to be slightly bigger than the QR code. You can see the Canva has alignment tools. So when you see the crossbar vertical and horizontal, this is exactly in the center. Now I'm going to right click and then layer and send this to the back. And now I know that it's behind my QR code. I can click and drag to select both of them and then group them together. Now I can move this together wherever I want. I can resize it if I need to. Put it right here. And you can see I use this arrow, but the way I found this is I searched for arrow and you can find arrows in shapes or graphics. If you take a look at the graphics, a lot of times you're gonna find animations. And Avoid the ones that say pro if you're using a free account. And then I will use this one because it kind of works within this color palette that I'm using. And now I'm going to show you how to drag Borky in. 
So I had already uploaded Forky, the one that I used for my shirt file. I actually created this in Adobe Illustrator. It has a transparent background, but if you do have a pro version of Canva, there's a background remover that I use all the time. But in this case, it's a, you can find an image that is online. Just look for transparent background. And what's really cool, I'm going to go to edit image. There's also, if you don't see it down here, click on apps or um, there's an image upscaler. If you find an image that doesn't have a great image quality, you can click on it and then you can upscale the image by up to eight times, depending on the quality. But I don't think I need to do that for this one. Instead, what I'm going to do is animate it. I'm going to click on animate and you can do a basic animation, choose any of these, but I like to create an am animation and you, I'm just going to click my mouse and then drag it into the position so it goes up and then comes back down. So here's Forky. I'm going to go zigzag up, stop, zigzag down. There's the animation. If you don't like it, delete the path and start again. You can change the speed, but I like this, so I'm going to say done. But it's not positioned in the right way. I want this to be behind the QR code. So like I did before, I'm going to right-click it, go layer, and then send to back. Now, you're not going to see it move until you press this play button in the upper right-hand corner. Now you can see it going up and then back down. If you like it, then keep it. If you need to make some, let's see, moves, then you can. I think I like it. So there it is. Now I can go to share and I can download. And I can download this as a GIF for, uh, from this free account. I will download it. And it's going to be in my downloads folder. And now I can post it wherever I want to post it. And I will have a looping animated GIF. So that's how you use the free account in Canva to create an animation.